These are two LEGO clone troopers. One is a Phase 1 trooper from the Clone Wars, and the other is a Phase 2 trooper. But as you can see, the Phase 1 trooper has these tiny holes on the side, which you can use to attach a wide variety of accessories, including rangefinders, pen lights, macro binoculars, and visors. Macro binoculars are not officially produced by LEGO, but I do have a tutorial on how to make custom macro binoculars. I'll leave that down in the description below. Visors attach on two points, but all the other accessories only attach on one point. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing Captain, or sorry, Commander Bly. So I will need those two points for the vis for the macro binoculars. Excuse me. Now this is a new Phase Two trooper. Lego made this helmet mold in 2013, and as you can see, there's no holes on the side. That's quite the disappointment because Lego had more than two years to make this helmet based off of the Clone Wars, and the material that they already had showed that there was rain fi range finders and macro binoculars. So it's really a disappointment that they didn't that they decided not to include little holes for your accessories. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to drill little holes in the sides of your Lego helmets to allow for custom accessories for your favorite clone trooper. I'm going to teach you how to turn this into this, which, as you can see, has a little hole on the side. So now you can take your accessories and put your accessory in. Isn't that cool? Well, without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. The first thing you need to do is move all this stuff out of the way and buy a micro hand drill. You can get these on Amazon for like five to $10 and they're pretty cool. I recommend actually getting a hand power one, hand powered one, one because they're cheaper and also they're a lot easier to control. They dig through the plastic a lot faster than you might think. So using an electric one, you're definitely gonna tear up some expensive helmets. So I would highly recommend going with a hand powered one. Next, you're gonna need your helmet that you wanna be drilling. In this case, I'm gonna be using my work in progress on my custom phase two Commander Bly helmet. Also, you're gonna need a head that you don't care about. Um, so I'm using this head from like the 90s. I have multiple of it because it looks kind of, it just looks weird. Um, because your head is probably gonna get ruined. Sadly, this um, Captain Rex head got hit and that makes me extremely sad because this head's worth like $20. I actually have two for some reason, even though I don't have two Rexes, um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, I didn't know it was in there. Just for some reason, it was in that trooper. So make sure it's a head that you really don't care about. Don't drill into something special. So what I'm going to recommend first off is taking a cheap brick and then looking through some of the bit sizes. It comes with a ton of bit sizes and they're all, it doesn't tell you what size they are. Um, but I recommend going through the bits and then picking out a few that you think will work best and then I bagged up all the bits that aren't really important and found this bit. So what I did was, you know, you put it in, screw it tighter, and then I made some practice drill holes with different sizes to find what worked best. I found that this one worked best. I don't know what size this is, but um, I just found that this one worked best. Now, one cautionary warning is don't do this to your troopers, really. Like, I would never do this to all of my troopers, um, like all that stuff. It's, I mean, it's a process, you know, it costs money and there's some risk involved into it. So you have to be very careful, but I'm only doing it with a few of my clones, but my Bly really needs it because he's a macro binocular trooper, but he's a custom, which I think is a little bit different than official Lego. I did drill this um, Captain Rex helmet, but I think it worked really well. It's it, well, 501st helmet. Um, so you just gotta be, um, you got to be fully ready that you know that you're about to drill through a helmet and know that it may affect the value of it uh, positively or negatively depending on how good your drill hole is. But um, I need this helmet to have holes in it so that's why we're going to use this helmet for the tutorial. Okay, so here's the actual tutorial part. So first you're going to want to take just a little stand. I use this one for painting my figures. Um, so you can hold it pretty nice and tight and now that you want to get your bit you want to hold it and you got to really take it slow you hold it like 
in the palm of your hand and then pressure into it and then twist. Um, and then so I'm just gonna do this very slowly, uh, but slowly just drill into that helmet. Um, you wanna drill into it pretty straight on. That's really important because you want it to be an even, nice cut. So let's keep drilling. I'll get a little bit of yellow once it's gone all the way through. Um, let's see how it's looking, okay. So I've got it a little bit more than halfway drilled into. So just keep it really nice, flat and steady. Um, you wanna keep it very, yeah, just very level. You can't really have it any other way. Um, okay, I think we've almost made it through the helmet. So now we're just gonna drill a tiny bit more. Um, we should be hitting the head in just a second. Okay, I feel like I've hit it. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh, I can't get the head out now, of course. Um, here we... There we go, okay. So we've made a little indent on the head, which means that's gone all the way through. Now you should kind of run it back and through to get all of the excess scrap out. Um, but yeah, now that's mostly finished. Let's try it out. I hope this works. Um, so here, let's try using a little accessory here. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. I think it's a little too loose, um, but I can probably fix that up with a little bit of Procreate or something. Um, yeah, it's definitely too loose, but I can make the other side harder. So I need to find a new bit to make sure that it's less loose so that my visor will snap on nicely. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna uh, cut to a time lapse problem. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Does my visor fit onto my custom helmet? Let's see. Okay, yes it does. So it looks kind of stupid down, it doesn't fit down, um, but for Commander Bly in particular, he has macro binoculars. So what I'm gonna do is I can cut into this, make it a bit thinner and it'll work. So that makes me extremely happy. Um, I would say this is more for antennas. Um, it's not, doesn't work as well with visors, but I'm pretty happy. So you can drill in your own holes into Lego helmets this is actually an ABS resin cast by Jonak Toys. It's like 70 cents. So this is actually a cheaper helmet. Um, but yeah, it works pretty well. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to put a few holes on a few of my troopers, but probably not the official Lego ones. I wouldn't really recommend this, but this is a fun project to try to do. Um, just to like one or two troopers that really need it. Again, you can get this hand drill on Amazon for like five or ten dollars. It's really cheap. It's pretty efficient. Um, the company uh, is called Auto Tool Auto Tool Home. Auto Tool Home. Um, so that's pretty cool. I just am keeping all of the bits that I don't need in this bag, and then I'm going to keep the correct bit onto my drill. So yeah, that's my YouTube tutorial. I hope you liked it. Hope this helps you out. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's the end of the video. Enjoy your day and please consider subscribing.